thousand years in thy sight. I pray that yesterday, but it is past. And as he watched in the night, I carried them away and with a flood beyond the dead sea. In the morning, y'all that grass is growing. Children of men. 
for a thousand years in our sight. I put it yesterday. When it is past, it has a watch in the night. Now perish them away. And with blood, with a flood, the eye of this sleep. In the morning, they'll let grass was brought up. In the morning, it poured and grew it up. And if you use it deep and it is cut down and withered. Our ears as a tale that is told. The days of our years are three score years and ten. And if by reason of strength they be forty four score years, yet is there strength, labor, and sorrow. But it is soon cut off, and we, we fly away. Who knows the power of thy anger, even according to thy fear, so is thy wrath. The Lord, teach us to remember our days that we may apply our heart unto wisdom. Return thee, O Lord, how long? Let it repent thee, concerned our servant. O Lord, sanctify us early with thy mercy. that we may rejoice and be glad all the day. Make us glad all the day. I ask you to remain standing while we stand in this. While we want to celebrate the life of Douglas Robert, let's pray. God, our Father, we thank you. We praise you for this moment. We thank you for this opportunity. And God, we pray for this family, Lord God, that you give them strength. We pray, God, that you guide them and strengthen them. We pray for the man of God. The man of God is coming to read scriptures and pray and even give a eulogy for this gentleman. And God, we thank you for all that you have allowed him to share with his people throughout his life. This is our prayer. We pray in Jesus' name. The people of God said, Amen. 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 We're going to have a song of inspiration. We're going to have our scripture read by Reverend Pastor Thompson and the New and Old Testament. Prayer of Comfort by Reverend Bird and so much by Terry F. in that order. Amen. Amen.
I'm the thief that life demands a world of food and world of shelter. Thirteen meals that stare our land. We are trusting in the Lord and according to His word. We will understand it better by and by. We embrace us in a snap of the takers on a web. And our hearts are made to plead for me a word or deed. And we wonder where the tell is when we try to do our best. But we'll understand it better by and by. Sing it, pray it by when the morning comes.
that you may bow your heads and pray. holy above all names. It is, Lord, that we call your holy and righteous name as we reverence your majesty. Even though it be, Lord, we come out of time when there may be confusion, hearts may be troubled, but, Lord, we rest on the concept that we should trust you in all things. Father, we thank you, Lord, because you are our creator and gave us a gift, O oh Lord, some 70 years ago in the person of Douglas Robinson. Thank you, Lord. Lord, your promise to him has been true yes. that man's days are three score and ten. Yeah. And let it be a testimony to all of us that that promise rang true in his life. Father, we thank you for your darling son, Jesus Christ, yeah. who gave up a heavenly position to be born as a man, suffered and bled and died, so that he could make a way for each and every one of us. And today I call on the fact that that way was made for our dearly departed. For Lord, we thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you Lord. for all that you have done. Yeah. And now, right now, Lord, I thank you for your Holy Ghost power. Yeah, yeah. Because you said that the Holy Ghost would help us to remember all things. Let us remember the gift that God gave us in Douglas Robinson. You said that your comforter would come, Lord. And we ask, Lord, that it be a comfort. For we know that we've been endured but a night. Yeah. That joy comes in the morning. Yeah. So, Lord, because you work in mysterious ways, I, I dare not deliver the thought that weeping is only for one night. Mm -hmm. But for the nights that you allow it, Lord, until such time as you say, brothers and sisters, cry no more. Mm -hmm. Father, we know it to be true and we rest on your promises. Because we read the Thessalonian verse that says one day mm -hmm. that you're coming back for all of us. And that when you crack the sky, the dead in Christ shall rise first. Mm -hmm. And that the rest of us be caught up. Let it be, Lord, as we trust in your will. So for this family, oh God, Holy Ghost power. From that Prince of Peace, from the Father who begat his only begotten Son, in all of this we ask in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. amen. Yeah. 
shall see his face. Our humble submission to the one who does all things well, the giver of life, the sustainer of life, and then the one who calls us home when this life on earth is done. We're grateful for the life, the legacy, and the love given to us by Mr. Douglas Robert Pinkerson. Can we put our blessing in this house? Thank you. Letters for you today. 
first from the Mount Lebo Baptist Church, to the family of the late Brother Douglas William Robertson. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let it be afraid. John 14 and 27. In times like these, encourage yourself in the Lord and rely upon the word of God for strength, comfort, and peace. We have the assurance that the ultimate end is not death, but eternal life. Be assured that we will be upholding you in prayer and stand ready to assist you and your family in any other way that we can possibly. Therefore, we offer this letter as an expression of our deepest love and concern for you and your entire family. May God be your refuge and your strength, a very present help in your hour of bereavement. This comes from Reverend Daniel T. Bass in Texas. From the Mount Olivet Baptist Church, to the Robertson family and, and uh, the late Rob Douglas William Robertson. At such a time as this, we the members of the Mount Olivet Baptist Church, Trees, Virginia, extend our heartfelt sympathy to you in the loss of your loved one. We realize that words may seem empty as you are grieving the loss of your loved one, but know that we are praying for the members of your family. Remember, the joy of the Lord is your strength. Matthew 5 and 4 states, Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. May our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ be your source of comfort during this difficult time. With sincere sympathy, the Mount Olivet Baptist Church, Reverend Dr. Wesley K. McLaughlin, pastor, and the Mount Olivet Baptist Church family, Petersburg, Virginia. From the New First Baptist Church, Petersburg, Virginia, we, the New First Baptist Church family, would like to express our deepest and heartfelt condolences during this extremely difficult time. The loss of a loved one is never grasped with open arms, but we know that God makes no mistake. As Revelation 21 and 4 states, He will wipe every tear from your eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain. For the old order of things has passed away, and God holds all things in His hands, so we, so we for a night, but joy does come in the morning. <clears throat> We'd like to share this poem with you entitled, Deep, To Those Whom I Love and To Those Who Love Me. When I'm gone, release me, let me go. I have so many things to see and do. You mustn't tie yourself to me with too many tears, but be thankful we have so many good years. This comes from Robert A. Harney Jr., senior pastor of the New First Baptist Church. And from the Center Star Baptist Church, to the family of the late Douglas William Robertson. According to his tender mercy, God, with his infinite wisdom, has seen fit to move from our midst our beloved brother in Christ by means of death on Tuesday, January 3rd, 2023. No matter what your trails are or how big your mountain seems, the Lord is there to see you through. We, the members of the Center Star Baptist Church, want the family to know that our hearts are with you as we bid goodbye to Brother Douglas Robertson. We want you to know that we share in your sorrow, but most importantly, we recognize that loss is heaven's gain. Humbly submitted on this 13th day of January 2023, the officers and members of the Center Star Baptist Church in Whitty, Virginia, Reverend Dr. Larry R. Cooper, Pastor, Deacon Cheryl L. Coleman, Church Club. And again, on behalf of the Joseph M. Johnson and Son Funeral Home, we would like to thank your family for entrusting our family with your loved one during this most difficult time. Trust me, we're not only praying for you, we're praying with you that the God who provides all comfort and peace will, will provide you with that same comfort and peace during this most difficult time. God is good. Amen. Even though we might not understand why. Even though we might not understand why we have to do it today. Yes, sir. The Bible Bill still does remind us that this is the day yes, sir. that the Lord has made. Right. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. We're not sure we'll be the best right. We're not sure we'll be meeting for the best reason on today. But it is still the day yes. that the Lord has made. Yes. So we have a reason to rejoice oh. and to be glad. Yes. And if there's anything we can rejoice about, God only does the best for yes. his name. Right. And he gave you a loving man kind father, a good yes, brother, yes. a good friend, for as long as he could. But this is a, not the ending place for us. Yes. Heaven is always our home. Yes. And if we do right on this side, we'll have a chance to see Douglas again. Yes. So that will be not this way. Whatever we have. Remember, our God will take care of you. God yes, bless you. Yes. That was messing with me this morning with my voice. Well, I mean, y'all, the devil is alive, and I was saying anyway. I might sing a little in a deeper octave than I normally sing, but I know Douglas would have wanted to hear me sing. So I will, 
I will try to do my best. And to my cousins, to Denea, I love you guys. I love my family. And God will take care of me. <coughs> You deserve the glory and the honor. I lift my hands and worship, and I praise your holy name. You deserve the glory and the honor.
was able to keep us from falling. Yeah. Just like the him that is able to hold us up in our times of trouble. Yeah. Keep us from sinking out of the heartache and out of the heartbreak of this old world. I'm talking about a world that's full of sickness. Yeah. A world that's full of sorrow. Yeah. A world that's full of all things that will press us down. Church, in times like these, like we need to say. In times like these, yeah. we need an anchor. Yeah. I'm coming by to tell you, his name is Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You need to hold on to that solid rock. Yeah. I'm talking about that rose of Sharon, yeah. lily of the valley, yeah. that bright and morning star. Yeah. They burst in the land to be yeah. in the air. And when you get to be 93 years old, you'll find out the truth. I want to about him and about his love for 
one another. Amen. It was enough to call anybody's spirit to be lifted. While one was talking about his humility, talking about how what a humble man he was. And the other jumped in and joined in and talked about about, yeah, how quiet he was and how laid back he was. Amen? Your mom and dad said he was truly a homebody, a family man in every sense of the word. One who honored, amen, his marriage vows in sickness and health, richer or poor, hung on in that the death do us part. Amen? Oh, I want you to know that they said that you could count on, always count on him whenever there was a need in that family. Not only in that family, but in his neighbors, amen? That he was always there to help anybody he could, wherever he could, and however he could, amen? And then they said something else that really struck me. They said that he put others before himself. Wow. Amen. Now, he's going way down tonight. Amen. I want you to know that's what God does for us. Amen. Oh, this is when there was a family reunion. It was Doug, amen, who would take his part and make things ready. Make sure that everything was intact. And make sure that everybody he could get together was together. Amen. I understand that he had several hobbies. Amen. Including fishing, amen. Love sports. He had the nerve to be a Pittsburgh chef. <laughs> <laughs> amen. 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 I know somebody, I see somebody with a Pittsburgh on this morning. <laughs>
Bambu being a fool bit. <laughs> I know there's going to be some tough times in your life, but I want to commend you for the way that you stood by him, the way that you cared for him, the way that you ministered to him. God has a special blessing in store for you. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Amen. As a word, as a word, that's found in the 30th of Psalm, mm-hmm. yes, verse 5. David shares with us that the reason may endure for a night, yeah. but joy, joy. cometh in the morning. Yeah. Well, what is weeping? To, to weep is to cry. Yeah. To, to weep is to grieve. It's to mourn. Mm-hmm. To weep is to shed blind and tears. Yeah. Oh, weeping is an expression of sorrow. Weeping is an expression of grief and pain, disappointment. Weeping comes from empty hope, vain expectation, and miscalculation. All weeping may endure for a night. Amen. And I want you to know that this phrase, amen, is letting us know that every one of us is going to have something to cry about in our lifetime. It doesn't matter how young or how old you are. Even when you're first born in the world and the doctor smacked you on your backside, amen, your first thing you learned was how to cry, amen. amen. I don't know about you, but every now and again, I have to cry sometimes. Yes, sir. Sometimes yes. up and sometimes yes. under. Almost level yes. to the ground. But when I say about his good, yes. no. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. 